Fairy Queen, 1692. Magnificent music of Henry Purcell. It was conceived to be sung and played at the end of each act of A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. But it's very difficult to see quite the relationship between the music and the play. So we've got rid of the play and we've introduced dance, and not just any dance. We've introduced the dance of a choreographer called Merad Mertsuki and his company. And that company was based originally in hip hop and, and, and dance of the street and then moves into uh, classical dance. And so it's a mixture of classical dance and other dances. And it has an incredible energy, incredible energy. And that energy goes with the energy of the music of Henry Purcell. But of course, we need energetic singers as well. And those singers come from our Jardin des Voix. It's called the, the Garden of Voices. And this is Jardin des Voix. Uh, we audition in Jardin des Voix every two years. Um, and throughout the world. So we'll audition in, in the East, we'll audition in, in, in London, in Paris, and we'll audition in, in New York, and try and find the, the best singers of their generation. And then we, we finish with eight singers. We've had this intense uh, rehearsal period, and I think we've produced something which is at the same time exciting, touching, gorgeous, young, energetic. It's an amazing experience. And f for me, I sang, I sang Fairy Queen when I, when I was a young singer. It's a piece that I've loved all my life. Um, I'm Scottish by origin, but I think when I hear Purcell's music, it's the only time I'm really jealous of the English. It's, it's, it's really a, a sort of life-giving experience, this, this production. I've loved being a part of it. I've loved coaching these young singers. I've loved working with uh, Murad to try and make that dance marry with the, the, the extraordinary music of Henry Purcell. It's a great evening.